Hey, what's going on everybody? Game Geezer here. Got uh, another little quick tip trucking video for you guys. I know some of you guys watch my Freightliner videos. Surprisingly a little more popular than I thought they would be. I just kind of put them on there for, for what the heck, you know? But anyways, today I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all have encountered maybe y'all pick up a trailer, you know, or whatever. And you'll notice that maybe when you're sitting, the hazards will work or whatever. But when you start driving, the blinkers don't work on the trailer or the uh, brake lights start doing this thing where it looks like they're having a seizure and it's just got like a like a bad connection kind of thing going on and uh, this is a quick method if you know that the trailer's good it's not any fuses or light bulbs or wiring or anything and you're just trying to get your pigtail to make good con connection with the trailer I'm gonna show you a good a good way to fix that problem because I, I know when you swap trailers out at some point you're gonna run into this problem and I'm gonna show you how to fix it with these things a stick just some kind of small stick a napkin two zip ties and a flathead and you want to have kind of a you know a skinny tip on it and anyways I'm gonna go outside to the trailer and I'm gonna show you what those things are for so here we go okay so you'll generally have something like this you got your little area here and your pigtail and you just kind of slide it in like that or whatever now for some reason it's not this isn't good enough what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the napkin and the stick and we're gonna clean the contacts in there and in here first before we do anything else let me show you how to do that okay so you're just gonna put your napkin on your stick and you're just gonna hold this open try to get this like so and you're basically just gonna Kind of clean the contacts in there but you're going to want to use this napkin to get all the crud off of there the stick is just really to just help shove the napkin in there that's all it's for it's harder for me to show you this because you know i'm doing this one-handed or whatever but this is the general idea so you're going to you know shove this napkin in between these contacts okay you can get as much crud out of there now this one was already pretty clean but some of them will, will be pretty nasty and then basically, you just use your stick and you kind of get what you can out of your pigtail and you wipe it off with this, you know? So uh, after that, let me show you what's next here. You're gonna take your flathead, okay? Now this is after you've already cleaned them in here and in here as best you can. And you can see these are spaced out. They're supposed to be spaced out, but over time they get small. They get crunched in and you just take your flathead and you just kind of give them little gaps you know and this will make the connection much tighter for your pigtail okay so you just kind of go like that you know spread them out all right now that one might be a little too big, maybe, but we'll see. So then you just plug your pigtail in. All right, get this pigtail in here. Okay, nice solid connection. And it feels pretty solid because those pins are now spaced out, so they're helping hold the pigtail in. Now. This thing up here is supposed to have a spring, but it's kind of broken. And this this is supposed to stay tight against this here, like that. So to, to get this on here like that, you're just gonna take two zip ties and basically just do something like that and zip tie it down. And then this will stay solid. And you don't have to worry about it and you can do it however you, you want but I would do it kind of like at an angle so kind of like that and then just like, pull this cable so like that you know something little kind of like that you know just, yeah anyways I, I brought two new zip ties I was gonna show you but I already had those there but anyways that's basically the gist of it you're just gonna zip tie it and then your connection will be a lot better. 
And these are just some quick things you can try if you're in the middle of the road and you're trying to get this lights working. And hopefully they should set you straight. And for me, I've been driving six years and this works pretty much 95% of the time. So, you know, it's normally just over here is your problem. So check that out. You know, because the other end you never mess with, it's gonna be, it should be fine. So all your problems should just be in here. So anyways, I'm gonna use both hands. I'm gonna zip tie this back up just temporarily, you know. It's always good to keep zip ties on, on your truck because they can be lifesavers. So anyways, um, that's just a quick video for you guys on how to get your connection going for your trailer so you don't, you know, have any light issues. So hope it was helpful. Take care and uh, subscribe if you like and all that stuff. And see you in the next one.